Welcome back to the Homestead Friends. I'm excited you're here today. I am gonna be starting a bunch of stuff today. I have my tomatoes, I have brassicas, cabbage, peppers, kale, and a bunch of other cool stuff that I'm super excited about. So I want to show you a couple things that I've got. I'm gonna flip you around and show you the new seedling mix I got. This is called Pro Mix. I have been purchasing the $5 bags of seedling mix that you can buy at Lowe's and Home Depot. And one bag only fits two of these trays. And with the quantity of seedlings that I'm starting, this is just a small glimpse at it. That is just not affordable. And I follow two farms that are up north. One of them I believe is in New York and they're a flower farm. Um, I'll link them below. And the other one is you can't eat the grass and they're in Canada. And I saw that they've been using this Pro Mix in these bulk bags. So I went on Amazon and I searched Pro Mix and this bag, 3.8 cubic feet, was $75, which I thought was still kind of steep. And so I actually went on to the Pro Mix website and they have a search engine where you can put your zip code in and it comes up with the distributors in your local area that actually sell Pro Mix. And so I live in Washington and there's a bunch of hydroponic nurseries and supply companies that sell Pro Mix. And so I was able to find this bag at one of those local hydroponic stores for $35. So I bought two of these and that seems like a really affordable option. I'm not sure how much this is going to equate to fitting into my seedling trays, but I'm super excited to try it out. I just opened the Pro Mix and one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is there is a lot more of the white in there, which I think is perlite, I could be wrong. Um, and it's really, really fluffy. It's really beautiful stuff. So this is it. You guys, I do this in my house. <laughs> this is real life. I don't have a potting shed or a greenhouse or anything. I have a Rubbermaid tub that I think I'm going to go outside and scrub down and put a bunch of this in there because trying to unpack this from its like condensed form is I'm making a huge mess. I need to figure out a better solution than to throw a bunch of this stuff on my floor. I didn't even use half the grow mix bag and I filled this entire tub up and I got this bowl. So I'm gonna wet this down and I'm gonna get started on planting some seeds. I have all sorts of tomatoes, cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, a bunch more peppers. I'm gonna plant a few more kales and I just transplanted my pepper plants where there's one pepper plant per cell. Now that I have some open space in this tray, I don't wanna waste the space under my seedling, under my grow lights. So I am gonna go ahead and start a few more kales and then plant some Brussels sprouts. I would like to plant pepper plants in here, but to keep this tray consistent with peppers. But with these pepper plants, I've gotten some good feedback on that seedling starting video that I need to have the tray in a warm spot or under a heat mat which I don't have. So I do have a wood stove over there and we've been firing that every night and it's been keeping very warm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant up these peppers and I am gonna just set them over there along with my tomatoes while they germinate and then once they germinate, they'll go under the grow lights. These are already under the grow lights. So this is why this is gonna have some brassicas in it as opposed to more pepper plants since brassicas don't need that warm of an environment to germinate. Good morning, friends. It is the next day. It was like, I think 12 when I was filming that last night and I got super tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up planting this morning. I got my peppers and tomatoes planted. I really wanted to get those next to the wood stove so that they could start the germination process while the stove was going last night because it was so nice and warm in here. Right now I am planting cabbage. I just planted the Baker Creek Golden Acres cabbage and now I'm gonna plant the Dollar Tree Golden Acres cabbage. So just hang out with me while I get all these seeded and then we'll go through everything at the end.
Here's an overview of what I got done between yesterday and today. I'm going to go ahead and go through the varieties with you. First off, I got my peppers and tomatillos planted last night. So got tomatillos, my Dollar Tree, and, and my Gardener Wonder Bell Peppers, California Wonders, more jalapenos, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, and some more Tabascos. So these spent the night next to the wood stove last night along with my tomatoes. So my tomato plants, I planted way too many tomatoes last year. I think I had 45 plants and that was more than enough for my husband and I and that was with a lot of loss because um, it was my first time growing and I lost a lot but I also got a lot and so I am not going to grow that many tomato plants this year. I have 11 varieties of tomatoes including the Dollar Tree tomatoes that I planted and I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep two plants for myself, two of each variety so that'll give me 22 plants in case I kill one or a deer eats it or something then it'll give me a backup but I'm thinking I'm gonna sell some of these with how last year went I think there's a market for selling some plant starts I'm not looking to make a bunch of money just even if it just covers the cost of a few seeds and then I don't waste these starts if I'm gonna start them because I can't help myself like I planted out this is a 72 cell or 52 cell tray and I planted two seeds in each and then I'll break them up if they all germinate and pot them up so I I don't want to waste these so let me go through the varieties with you what I got so I have three slicers that I got from Johnny seeds Wisconsin 55 Martha Washington big beef I also got a classic beef steak from Baker Creek mortgage lifters I really liked those tomatoes last year I want to eat a lot more uh, fresh tomatoes I didn't we didn't prioritize that last year which is kind of sad so that's a big goal of mine this year Dr. Witchies. I got two Roma tomatoes here. I got the Roma from Baker Creek and the Roma from M.I. Gardner. This is new to me this year. I did plant these last year and they did really well even though I did not have uh, a grow light set up or anything. So I'm really impressed with how well resilient these were. So I'm going to do them again this year. And I wanted to do Berry's Crazy Cherry and I went to buy them on Baker Creek and they were sold out. So I just did a Google search and I found this seed company, which is pretty awesome because they are actually in Oregon and I just live 10 minutes north of Oregon in Washington state. And so I'm excited to find a local seed company to me that I can support. If you haven't seen these online, it's incredible. It's a yellow pear cherry tomato and they have 40 or so tomatoes in each cluster, which is crazy, <laughs> no pun intended. And when I was on their website, I also found these tomatoes that I couldn't help myself but buy. I have never seen these online or anything, but these are the same concept as the Berry Crazy Cherry, except it's a red tomato, and it also can have up to 40 tomatoes in each cluster. Super excited about those. And then Chocolate Sprinkle, because I grew these last year from a start, I bought at Home Depot, and my husband loved them. This was actually a hard tomato for me to find. I um, found it on Territorial Seed Company, which is also in Oregon, so I'm excited to support that company as well. And then on to cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. I've got my Baker Creek Golden Acres, my Dollar Tree Golden Acres, my two different cauliflowers. This one is amazing from Baker Creek, and then my Dollar Tree cauliflower my Dollar Tree Broccoli, and my Territorial Seed Broccoli. Excited about that. This is my Celery and Celery Yak tray, and I had a couple spaces that were empty. For some reason, I must have forgot to plant that one because I didn't have one seed germinate in this row. So I went ahead and planted a few more Blue Curl Kale and Scarlet Kale in those spots just so I don't waste the space. I want to maximize my space. So on my pepper seedling tray, I had very poor germination and I went ahead last night and kind of condensed the peppers into one area. And then I planted some Brussels sprouts in this whole row here and then spinach in here. Same concept as the kale. I want to maximize my space. I don't want to waste that space. And then I had one little Utah celery and one pink celery that found its way into that tray. And so I'm just going to leave it. This whole tray is the Alaska peas. I had already planted these once, but I didn't have time. They got way too big, and I didn't have time to plant them out in the garden without figuring out something to do with my chickens. And so 
I went ahead and planted another, I gave them to my mom, so I went ahead and planted another tray for myself. And then in my onion tray, the Brunswick onions, I had one germinate out of this whole row. This was the only Brunswick onion that germinated, and so same concept, I went ahead and planted the Dollar Tree Romaine lettuce in these cells just so that I can maximize my space, like I said. And that is what I planted yesterday and today. So I am gonna spritz them all down with the peroxide water solution. I'm gonna get the tomatoes and peppers back under the wood stove. The rest of them, I'm gonna go ahead and get back in the grow room under the grow lights. Me today, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm at Acre Homestead and I'm excited to see what comes of this. And if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, please leave wow. them down below. It's my second time gardening and I'm really new to it, so I can use all the help that I can get. And I can't wait to see you next time.